Hey guys, so I thought I would do this video as promised. So, um, the game we're going to be talking about today is a very strange one. It is from Japan and it is, I believe, a Japanese exclusive on the original Nintendo DS and that DS Lite. You can only really play this game on, you couldn't play it on any others. So this is Love and Berry. So that trans obviously is a loose translation to what it says. So I'm guessing that maybe they're their names. But yeah, so this is actually pretty fun and I'm really enjoying playing this. Obviously I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand most of the dialect in this, but it is a fun game to play. So this is kind of a fashion one as well as a rhythm game. So it's kind of a cross between style boutique and a rhythm game. So yeah. Um, so first of all what we'll do is I'll show you what you actually get. So it comes in this big box. You don't actually want to buy this unless it comes with everything because you won't be able to play it properly. So I'll show you what you actually get inside. This one was complete. It didn't cost me that much actually. No more than £10, but um, I just really like the look of it. So, put that there. First thing you get is obviously the game. So, in here, I got a few cute little booklets, obviously, all in Japanese. But obviously, if you're in Japan and this still works, knock yourself out. So, this is kind of cute little booklets and it came with the proper little Nintendo booklet as well. In a typical kind of American Japanese black case which is kind of cool. So. so the next thing you get with it that you have to have to play is this. And this is why it can only work on a DS or a DS Lite. So I have got cracked open the DS that I got for the car boot for like three quid, two quid I believe. Um, it's a bit dirty and I should have really cleaned it a little bit more before this video but it really does the job so. So in here what you get is this. And I have got a habit of just putting things back neatly so. You get this and this is a Sega card reader for the Nintendo DS and DS Lite. So all you do is basically take this lid off here and then it will plug straight in to your console. The next thing you get in there is this and these are the fashion cards and this is kind of what attracted me to this game. So you do have some special limited edition cards like this and then you have just your, oops, your, your basic clothes, special clothing one there, basic shoes, special shoes, hair, special hat, and hair. So you get these, which is awesome. So these are kind of like the original um, Nintendo Game Boy um, card reader style. So as you can see, there is down this side, and if you turn it over, down this side, and um, the information to be able to read it. You can actually they've left like a name there so you can actually write on each one of these cards obviously personally I'm not going to do that but it's kind of cute so you get those so again I will turn around and say on the actual DS card so this is the DS card it shows it's a Japanese game it's Sega you actually get the little title thing so you can kind of write your name on it so you doesn't get lost which again is kind of cute so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about this bit as well. So, obviously, if you do intend to go out and look and buy this, um, that's awesome. But if not, as well, um, what I will say is um, make sure you're reading the listings properly on eBay. This one is completely my fault, like hands down. Um, it's fine because I will buy the next game anyway. So, I bought a complete set of 80 cards on eBay. They cost me £10 um, so I'm really not overly pissed about that, that's a really good price. 
Uh, I couldn't get these to work on the game and I couldn't work out why. And then, oops, throwing them on the floor. There we go. This one. Um, and then I, after looking at the cards like a lot, I realised this, which says, if you can see it, version 2. So there is another game. Um, so when I get the other game, I've got every single card, but these games don't come up very often on eBay, and when they do, they're either non-complete or, you know, don't have anything with them, so I'm looking for the second game right now. Um, as soon as I can get it, I'll pick it up, but yeah, so I have all the cards for those, but only my little card pack that I originally showed you, these work on this game, so we'll have to work with these today. But just one of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see the DS. Hey guys, so I'm back and we've flipped the console around. As I said, this is the console that I got from the car boot for like two, three quid. It um, needs a bit of clean, but it works, so that's the main thing. Oh, sugar, sorry. Um, so the first thing to remember with the DS's and the DS lights is you have to plug everything in first of all. If you can't change carts, you have to turn it off and on again. So we'll take this out. And this just slides into here. You can open it, turn it on. I'm gonna just turn the volume down a little bit. So you can see here, it's obviously Japanese. Um, DS, D, D, the DS consoles, DS lights, I believe the DSIs are region free. Anything above that is region locked, unfortunately. So it's just one of those things that we can click here and we have our cards ready. And I do actually need a stylus. I'm gonna grab one of my Zelda styluses, my Zelda ones. So if anyone actually understands what this all says um, or more about the game, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. But we're just gonna Click on this, which I've worked out. Now yeah, click on that one. And this one I, I've kind of worked out is scenarios. So it's like, uh, that one's like fancy ball, I believe, or one's like cheerleading. So we will click this one. I can't see what that one is actually. Character select. And it's always the same. She always, they no matter what character you choose, they always wake up in the morning, like this kind of weird hair, and then suddenly she's got you know this big event to go to. A very loose translation. <laughs> so you can you're going to a ball. And now obviously you get this. You get a little clock here which tells you the time frame. So we're going to pick some cards. As I've said, I don't have many cards, so she's not going to go to the ball massively dressed nice. She's gonna have to go a bit chic. This car, these kind of cars, I'm not sure how to use. It kind of beats at me and tells me off. So we're gonna give her those though. So as you can see, um you meant to raise this but i said i've only got a handful of cards i don't have enough cards to actually do much else that's why i kind of bought the other card that's like a special card i don't know what it does but it seems to give more points kind of but i can't work out how to use these ones so if you know how to use these ones, like sparkly ones as well, you can let me know too. But then once you're all done, you can click go or wait. And then you go into the actual rhythm part of the game. And again, it's really actually difficult. So we lost points because we were dressed, unfortunately. I'm not sure what song we chose. <laughs> so this one, they dance. 
and you've got to clap. It doesn't actually tell you when. So to be honest, I'm really enjoying playing this game. Like I knew the pattern a little bit for this because also, I didn't win because my clothes sucked. But um, I'm kind of enjoying this game. And once you get used to the patterns, it's a lot more fun kind of thing. But I said the translation part, it'd be more fun if I knew the translations. But this is a Japanese exclusive game as far as I'm aware. So you're not going to get it anywhere else. You can pick other things. So... That was the song, I believe, so we'll pick a different song this time. This is the scenarios, so. Cheerleading, okay. I definitely don't have really much for cheerleading style, so we are those, perhaps? And then we'll go for her this time, shall we? So again, she'll wake up in the morning, look, hair's a mess. Oh. We'll give her that. We'll give her that. Give her that. Thinking like a normal chair, chair, uh, cheerleading style hair, like preppy. For some reason, I don't know if I'm actually quite high on this. But... So again, this won't work. But, but right, so we've worked with what we've got. <laughs> I lost a hundred and one points for the way I'm dressed. That sucks, but hey ho. Again, it's a tapping base when you have to dance against your friend. And the more you fail, the more you turn back into your like PJs, which is hilarious. <laughs> I can tell I sucked at that one. But that's the gist of the game. Um, I said I'd never seen this game before. It actually just come up in regards on my eBay kind of feed. And it just looked a little bit interesting. And I thought I'd give it a go. And I have been enjoying it. I just need to find more version 1 cards. And apparently there is little special booklets that you can put these in. So those would be cool too. So I'm going to flip the screen back around again. So back around this side now, and as I said, it is quite a fun game. I like the novelty side of this, so the actual game card reader itself. Um, I haven't personally before this game seen kind of a card reader for the DS in this sense anyway, so it is definitely 
and it's on a forte but it's one that I quite like. I'm definitely going to be just at least trying to get the rest of the cards and we'll see if I can actually win at least one game because obviously with the selection of cards I've got at the moment I haven't really been able to. Oh, excuse me. But all in all it is definitely a good game and it's definitely fun to play. So I would definitely recommend this game, um, especially if you've got like a young daughter as well, it's quite fun. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Have you played this game? Do you know anything about it? As I said, if you do and you know any more of the storyline, you know anything else, I'm really intrigued and I really want to know more about this. So um, let me know down below. But thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget if you like these videos to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. I will see you guys next time.